Huge and small birds share peacefully their possessions. This simplifies the daily life of pigeons. Thousands of them land on the oak grove to stuff themselves with acorns, like cranes do. They swallow them whole, and when they are satisfied, they rest without lowering their guard, because one of their many predators is near. It is a solitary and shy hunter that feeds mainly on rodents, although it is also inclined to eat wood pigeons. When the wildcat sees a pigeon, it runs and climbs the trees with a feline skill. It hides like a ghost. It does not let the prey out of its sight. One can sense the tension. At the end, it pounces on it like an arrow. It is a crack shot with a regular 95% accuracy rate. The claws are ready. The eyes are calculating the distance. The goshawk just has to wait for its prey to reveal itself. At the right moment, it leaves its vigilance, and before the victim notices anything, the goshawk will be on top of it. There is no time for reaction. Never. Within the birds of prey group, the pilgrim falcon is the master of the surprise attack. Quick and precise, its body is well built for this hunting technique. Its size and strength allow it to capture mid-sized species, and its long tail is an efficient rudder to make sudden turns when it is dedicated to reap the life of birds in the open. The pilgrim has no rivals. It is a genuine pirate. Whether it is a black kite, a booted eagle or a golden eagle, the vital game of survival is a ruthless reality for the birds of prey. The static flapping and the attacks of the lesser kestrel are unbearable for the voles. As well as the pressure placed on the grasshoppers by the common kestrel. One can never underestimate the most popular of the European falcons. Its claws are like daggers and its eyes can see everything. The same dramatic sequence always repeats itself. Without this natural selection, the kestrel, the grasshopper, the cricket, the scops owl, or the ill-fated cicada would not continue populating the earth. When it comes to eating, the eagle's preferences are diverse. The booted eagle chooses mid-sized birds, like the woodchat shrike that it is plucking at right now, a bird a little bit bigger than the nightingale. However, the short-toed eagle prefers snakes. These make up 95% of their diet, and it looks horrifying to see them swallowing them whole. They can be up to two meters long. To fatten her only chick, the female will also choose prey of great consistency. The Montague's Harrier flies low. Its reduced size does not stop it from catching rabbits, the key mammal for the raptors. Environmental disasters like myxomatosis interrupt the control role that eagles play naturally. This forces them to hunt rodents. In the Iberian Peninsula reside 99% of the world's population of the imperial eagle. That is the reason why Spain is the maximum responsible for their survival. More comforting is the future of the golden eagle, 
a stable species capable of replicating the dramatic plunges of the falcons. Thanks to the thermal currents, the vultures rise up to 6,000 meters. And when they set foot on the ground, they stage the most hair-raising show of nature. They are the super predators of all ecosystems. The fierce carrion feast begins in Monfrag. Fights follow in the midst of an avalanche of 200 frenzied birds. Aggression and appetite set for eating turns. The Egyptian vultures have to wait. They will come into action when the omnipotent beaks of the vultures open up the animal's carcass. Soon the remains of the sheep will disappear. Away from the agitation, the shy Egyptian vultures decide to go looking for their own trophy. In Europe, the griffon vulture lives in the Mediterranean area, but its biggest population is found in Spain, where there are close to 20,000 pairs, in comparison to the 1,500 pairs of black vultures. Its share in the game of life is crucial, and that is the reason they have been called the health patrols of nature. When they wander in the sky, death is suspected on the ground. 